Hey guys, welcome back to Hellendale Hot Rods. We're working on the old uh, Roadster Revival still. It's a pretty big project as you, if you've seen the other videos. Um, today I'm gonna do this rear, uh, rear panel behind the door. It's not awful, but the bottom bead is all rotted out. So probably gonna go up about uh, two or three inches. They usually typically get pretty bad down in there. That's where the dust and moisture settled. So uh, I've already made a pattern. I'll uh, show you that in a minute. And uh, we'll get it ripping. Thought I'd give you guys a shot of the pattern uh, in place. My old calendar. Um, this is one that I had on uh, the passenger side of this particular vehicle made already. So um, nice thing about this is the patterns are reversible. Um, I'm fairly lucky. I don't have to replace too much in the wheel well area, I believe. Um, like I said, just the bead down here. We're going to probably go up, up to about here. But um, I might make a couple extra patch panels uh, to have because it seems like it's something I always have to make. All right, I got uh, the beads set up here. Um, it's kind of a homemade one on the bottom. It's I made this out of aluminum. It seems good enough for the 20 gauge. So it's a little bit rounded on the bottom and this is just your typical um, step that you would get with uh, your kit. Usually they go like that. Um, but I kind of want that roundedness. I did a tester right here. Not bad. I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit. There's the panel. I pre-stretched it on the English wheel. So, uh, let me get set up here. Okay, you guys, send me some good luck vibes here. Um... I should have left a little more meat over here to tilt it, but uh, I think I can lift it on the inside as long as I watch my digit. Slow and steady. Not too shabby. Try and get it straight as a boomerang. Straight as a hockey stick. Coming along nice. Now I got the little curve here, which should be an issue. So we Crap in my way. Life is crap in the way. Running into a slight problem. It's not deep enough. Ooh. We're good. Oh, hope you can get it there. Not too shabby. Hopefully that works. Went a little shallow here. I might hit that again. Um, right. Two. The sun was in my eyes. Just, I should be able to correct that. Let's 
Pardon the jiggle. Light is your friend. Yeah, I know I could buy a patch panel, but it's the hobby, man. I don't have to wait for parcel. Okay, I got all my fingers still. Good, good. So I still have to do this end. I got some uh, little tools I've fashioned for that, but that's down the road a few minutes. Um, the next thing I have to do is I have to do a 90 on the end here. And uh, this is uh, a curved 90. I'll have to do that with the tipping die. Come along, come along. So I'm gonna do this uh, curve at the wheel well, the wheel well right here. I got uh, my tipping die on the top and the old uh, urethane skateboard wheel from Dollar Store, Red Apple, Killarney, Manitoba. All right, so we're gonna tippy tippy, tippy tippy tippy. I'm using a skateboard wheel on the bottom because I want a little bit of a softer type uh, radius on it, I'm thinking. Just so it's a little more sexy. Or not. See how it works out. All right. I like to just do a quick one to get a groove. Tipping wheel is probably the coolest invention ever. Kind of opens up a, a whole other world of fabrication with sheet metal work. It's my belief. I believe I'm gonna lose the skateboard wheel and put a hard die on the bottom. Okay, got my hard die on the bottom. We'll see what happens now. It was just, uh, as you can see, it's bending the crap out of it. So we just can't have that. have to use the persuading hammer on it, I believe. All is not lost though. This gauge of material is pretty malleable. Malleable. Way better. Well, 
looks like I've got to beat the hell out of it for a little bit. But uh, get the pitcher. Okay, the next step in the game on this uh, patch panel is to do this little uh, end here on the bead. It's kind of comes out, but it's it's got a j abrupt end on it. So I have it clamped on my table here. All right, tiny change of plan. I'm gonna use this piece of shaft and just give it a little thump. I really hope it works. The chisel wasn't working too good. That would be my finger. It's okay, I'm okay. Yep, I think it's working. It's working, kids. It'll do. A little more massaging, but yeah, it's coming. Just gotta play with it a little bit. Don't look anything. Gotta play with it. Well, the little shaft idea seemed to work okay. Not too bad. I got a little uh, hammer and dolly it a little bit more to get some of those little blemishes out, but not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, good news. I got the uh, patch panel for the most part fabricated. Um, I don't even have to go way up here. I think I'm probably gonna do a, maybe a, Kind of a slice along. It's it's really solid in here. It's there's some rot right about here. But it's pretty good. Uh, I find less of the panel you got to put in. Maybe the less noticeable. I don't know. Maybe some guys have a different opinion, but that's my own personal opinion. It's my garage. <laughs> so, anyways, um. It's got a bit of a curve this way, so I got to do a little bit of shrinking in this area. And uh, there's just a tiny bit this way. And then uh, we'll probably put it on the wheel a little bit. And then the knee bender 2000. All right, the time has come to slice and dice. I'm taking about uh, three inches off. And then. Uh, We'll uh, fine tune the patch and tacky, tacky, tacky. Just gonna use a zip cut on it, gently, of course.
Okay, just doing some of the final fitting. Um, I like to try and get the ends and the beads where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna uh, get it fitting nice in here. And then uh, I uh, will probably, well, I gotta, I gotta grind this to bare metal. Um, and then I'll, I'll probably put a couple of tacks on it just to hold it. And then I'm gonna slice it with the uh, zip cut and that leaves your nice little gap to do your uh, butt weld. It's uh, my process, it works for me. I hope it helps somebody else out. Okay, with this panel, I got it uh, tacked in on the, the edge here where it nice and flush where it needs to be. And I've already started to zip cut. Um, so what this does is it gives me that little, uh, so I guess, I don't know, 16th of an inch gap for my, uh, my weld. So I got it tacked here, but the line's actually gonna be cut down here. I hope that makes sense.
Okay, I got her clamped in place. Got a couple of tacks on there. Um, I don't know if anybody else uses these. I'm sure other guys use them. They're pretty nice. The, uh, this sucker slips in between the gap of the sheet metal and this little guy goes through and holds it. And there's also a little set screw to uh, fine tune the panels to get them perfectly uh, level and flat. So handy little tool tip there. Princess Auto, Auto Har Harbor Freight. Uh, I assume Eastwood would sound as well. But anyways, got my panel nice and flat. Um, had to wrestle with it a little bit, but I guess I'll uh, do some more welding now. Hot, hot, hot.
All right, got her tacked in. Um, I still got some door alignment issues that have been ongoing for quite some time now, but uh, that's in. I didn't want to tack it all the way because I got a monkey around with the bottom part here, but uh, yeah, I still got a little seam sealing <laughs> to do down there, but way better than the rusty old piece of crap that was there before. I hope you've enjoyed this video. All right, folks, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't hit uh, the subscribe button, please do so. Uh, like here in comments and uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Cheers.